So does anyone still believe the FDA and Big Pharma are after absolutely everybody? But when Big Pharma points out their meds have bad side effects, shouldn't we believe them? Seeking longevity without seeking good health first makes no sense. So who should you trust with your health? Here's our take. We can't stop aging. But we can do a delay of aging. But before the delay of the progression of aging, we must do a reversal. Can you do a reversal of aging? My answer is yes. Professor Mike Chan. Prof. Mike introduced me to what is termed regenerative medicine. And what about the medicines we are taking? They are all chemicals. You are consuming chemicals that brings about many he side effects. He collect a lot of books from the trash. And he would clean up the book and he would... I don't have a toy as a child, but I would like to collect every book and I read as many books as possible. About the second week of March. I had one of my doctors hand me an EKG. I'm very excited to be here and speak up for Dr. Chan. Okay, talk about zombie chickens. Wow, zombie chickens? The living dead. The body will heal by itself to a certain extent. This is the focus on regenerative medicine, longevity and stem cell. Perhaps you remember the time when stem cells were the rage. They were the hot topic in town and around the world, but then suddenly it petered out. Perhaps you remember that as well. One reason, it never fulfilled the incredible promises it proffered. But today, stem cells are getting a second chance. It's not that stem cells have somehow changed, but rather that our understanding of them has changed and changed radically. In this case, I have to say all the 400 different types of cells of your salient organs have a different blueprints. Just like in human, you have a different fingerprint. You have a different tongue print. Even twins will have different blueprints in the sense of fingerprints and tongue prints. So what about the cells? All the cells have different blueprints in the sense that they have different molecules, they have different proteins, they have different amino acids, they have different glycation rate, they have different transcription factors. No cells are alike. So it's important to give the right type of cells to do the regeneration because regenerations, the real regeneration, have to reach the nucleus and the mitochondrial through going through the membrane of the cells into the nucleus. One of the leading pioneers, and for sure the leading evangelist, having a significant impact on that new understanding is Professor Chan, or Dato Sri Dr Mike Chan, as he is known globally. Professor Chan has been on an untiring global mission for 40 years, travelling every month to keep the dream and hope of stem cells alive, while pioneering some significant advancements and keeping our understanding of stem cells and their application at the cutting edge. In this first part of our series, we'll look at Professor Chan, his life, his work and his mission. You might just say he is bringing us a new world view of stem cells and perhaps a chance to live forever. Well, maybe not forever, but on track to increasing longevity. This is Forever Young 2.0.